How's it going everyone? Uh, Indigenous Rookie Cards. Uh, it's been a minute since I made a video. Um, finally got some mail. Living out in Kelowna now. Um, fully settled into my place. Um, did get mail forwarding set up, but I wasn't really expecting anything getting sent to my old Edmonton address, but now I'm out here in Kelowna. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just been a week of uh, full mail coming in. So um, thought I would just wait and make a video till, I, till the end of the week. And I wound up getting five packages. I'm waiting for another three or four to come in. Uh, hopefully they'll be here next week. But um, if not, uh, I'll make a video as soon as I can. But um, yeah, I haven't really been making videos or anything. Um, I've only been posting my uh, bio Sunday on my Instagram page just to give that a plug if you're not following me on Instagram it's at indigenous rookie cards every Sunday I do uh, a bio photo of uh, a different player in my collection and it's going chrono chronologically from the earliest card I have to the most recent so right now we're um, in late 90s um, I may also throw another one in there because there was another card coming in um, in the mail that I was expecting and um, I'll need to update that as well and update my entire collection. But um, yeah, without further ado, we'll get this started. This one, um, this one I got off of, uh, off of Instagram. I just bought this. This was just a couple dollars, so I ain't worried about no plain white envelope. Um, this one here is off of um, an Instagram user. This is a Jordan Nolan SB Authentic Auto Rookie. These are supposed to be short printed. I don't know what they're, they're not stamped or anything, but these are supposed to be pretty uh, short printed. It's part of their uh, rookie year, one of the variants. Um, up next, this, I'm assuming this one's from eBay. Uh, let me just have a look. Pop this open. Yep, this is a thought. This is off eBay. And this is the card I was talking about. This is the one I'm going to have to update for my collection. This is a Rocky Trache. This is a 1989-90 AHL Pro Cards uh, Rocky Trache card. I'm not, I, I don't think it's considered a rookie card. It is his first Pro card. Um, he only has three hockey cards. Two of them are from Junior. Back in the early 80s and this one right here this is his only professional hockey card that i know of um, that's listed on trading card database anyway so this is a, a brother of uh, brian trache i believe this is his younger brother but there were i think there was i i want to say there was six of them or five of them um I think three of them got drafted and only two of them actually ever played in the NHL. Of course, Brian Chachi being probably the greatest indigenous hockey player of all time, uh, winning a number of Stanley Cups, just you know being a Hall of Famer, scoring thousands of points in the NHL and having a very lengthy, productive career and you know just being a household name for um, what he did in the NHL. And this is his brother. I think he played like... 36 games in the NHL off the top of my head I'm pretty sure that's what it was um, but yeah he had a very short stint in the NHL I think, believe that was over two seasons and the mo majority of the time he was uh, in the AHL and um, soon after this card was made I think he went to play in Europe for a year or two and then retired and he wasn't even very old here he was 64 to 88 that's 24 yeah, he wasn't wasn't even 30 years old yet when he retired from hockey. But yeah, that's a pretty sweet card. That's definitely going in my main collection. Another one here. Let's 
Oh, nice. This is a uh, 2019 20 Brady Keeper Young Guns exclusives out of 100. This is numbered 18 out of 100. Um, I do have, right now, I only have the regular, regular Young Gun. Um, I have the clear cut exclusives and then this one. Uh, I might have an, a clear cut. I'm not too sure. I'll have to double check, but um, these are actually quite um, pricey considering that he's only played one game in the NHL. Like I think I like I, you know, paid lower than most of these go for on eBay, but still, to me, in like my opinion and what I've been paying for a lot of the players in my collection, guys who played, you know, like one game in the NHL he you know I he's got a great story he's got a lot of potential but you know paying some people were paying $40 for this card I paid 22 um which I thought was a lot I mean uh, you can get like a, a guy like Brandon Montour who's been you know a, a solid NHL player he's been steady in the lineup aside from injuries um you can get his his Young Guns exclusives are probably the same price, maybe a few dollars lower than, you know, what I paid for this. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I just feel like maybe it's just because it's a new card that, you know, it's there's a little bit of inflation to be taken in consideration for that. But, um, you know, I think once he gets more games under his belt in the NHL, you know, then I can probably justify paying you know those prices for this card um but yeah i am a big fan of his i do have a small pc of brady keeper um i'm really particular on what i'm paying for these cards because because he's only had one game like i said so you know um i i will continue to look for his cards but i have to be paying the prices that i think that they're worth um considering his experience in the nhl but yeah, if you haven't checked out his story yet, there is a 12-minute um, video feature on him um, on TSN. It was made by TSN. It was, it's been out for a couple months now. Um, please give that a watch if you can. Really amazing story. Oh, looks like there was a little uh, note that I missed on here. Thank you, name. This is from the eBay seller, Alain, I believe his name is. Okay, got a package. Let's see what this is. This is probably on eBay as well. Lovely eBay seller is paying them for shipping. Let's see what I paid for shipping on this. Uh, I paid, oh, let me see. I can't see what I, I think I only paid like, I think I paid like $2 for shipping on this or something, but I, mean, I guess you get what you pay for, but there are eBay sellers out there where I've paid like four or five bucks um, for shipping within Canada. And you know, you look at this package right here, see, it's like a dollar 94 for the shipping on there. Um, but yeah, sometimes you pay like four or five bucks for shipping and then they send it in a plain white envelope and then they're paying like a dollar on their shipping or whatever. Um, but yeah, this right here, this is a, uh, Brandon Smith Young, Young Guns. I do have another, um, Brandon Smith rookie card. It's the SBX out of 1500. But, you know, as I've said in the past, I do prefer having Young Guns in my collection and I will search out Young Guns over any other rookie card. Um, if I do happen to get something nice like a, a Cup Patch Auto or SP Authentic Future Watch, those usually go into like um, my side collection. Like of probably, they're probably more valuable cards, but for my main collection, I do prefer the Young Guns. I just always been a fan of these and they're just classic, classic cards that are probably some of the better known rookie cards, if not the best known rookie cards in the hockey community. Um, but yeah, this guy, you know, he, he didn't play too many 
NHL games. Like at this point here, he's had two seasons under his belt, 27 games, two goals, four assists. Um, eventually, I will be doing a bio on him very shortly because this is this is early 2000s. So yeah, good pickup for me. This one, this is the one that got sent to my old address in Edmonton. Um, I bought this early January. It didn't arrive until February. Like this got sent for, uh, January 15th. It didn't arrive until like two or three weeks later. And then good thing my landlord put my address on here and it got sent here. But I know exactly what this is and I'm really happy I picked up another copy of these. This is a Brandon Montour Young Guns. Uh, rainbow, rainbow card. So I do have another one of these, but this was, this, this was, there was a, a really good price on this in my, in my eyes. I think I paid like $20 for it, maybe 22, but these sell, I probably saved a few bucks on it. Um, so I didn't want to turn it down. Um, this is from EPAC. This is the rainbow, uh, I guess, speckled rainbow young guns. Pretty cool card. Um, I don't know. I've been humming and hawing over the idea of trying to do a second rainbow of Brandon Montour. It's because his cards have seemed... They seem to be very affordable right now. So um, considering that, and I, I do know a guy who has um, a clear cut and high gloss available. So if I do happen to go that way, you know, I, I know that's, that's available for me to do. Um, but yeah, just to recap here, that was my last card. Once again, I got the Brandon Montour Speckled Rainbow Young Guns, pretty cool card. And then I also got the uh, Brandon Smith Young Guns from 2000-2001 Young Guns. And I also got the Brady Keeper Young Guns Exclusives out of 100. I got the Rocky Trotche AHL Pro Cards. And then also the Jordan Nolan SP Authentic Autograph parallel of his rookie card but that's all i got for now this i'm really happy that i finally got to do an uh, a mail day now that i'm out in Kelowna, and i got some cards coming in the mail so that's always a good feeling to go to your mailbox and find some cards for your collection um right now i'm just pretty much only looking cards for my pc i haven't picked up anything um that i would be considering to sell or have as a trader um unless it was something that was going towards um something else that i would be putting into my personal collection of rookie cards um but once again uh instagram at indigenous rookie cards and remember to subscribe and like my video have a great night